All right, so we're just gonna give you a really, really quick demonstration on how to balance your drum or your belt. So we've just, on this Hummel here, we've got an eight inch Hummel. We've just replaced the drum and also the top roller. And we're just gonna give you a really quick demonstration on how you can adjust the tracking of the actual belts um, on the machine. So I'll hand it over to Alberto to give you a bit of a run through. All right, it's gonna be a good bit noisy because we've gotta turn the machine on. Right. Okay, just watch the lead there. Yep. Okay, so we just want to push the belt back slightly back a bit. So we need two, uh, two, two tools, of course. One is an Allen key, one just a spanner. So, so what we've got is, um, you know, it's a size 10. As you can see, it's a tight size 10 spanner for the bottom and uh, just an Allen key for the top, okay? So what you do is you just release the belt so you can push it slightly back a bit. And so obviously, in this case, we want to push the belt to the left. So that means we have to push the roller up a bit. So when it pushes up, pushes the belt a bit. So to push up, we, this bolt here has to be undone a little bit. So if I hold it here, right, you just undo the, just, just a slight, one is tiny bit like that makes a big difference. So we put the belt back down and just start up the machine again. touch just to bring the belt in a bit so we do the same thing again release the belt push that back a bit put the allen key in there and then just undo it again a little bit that pushes the roller up let's give it another shot all right trying to do overall is you're trying to get the belt to run so that it's literally yes. just touching yeah this guide you wheel you can feel the guide wheel but you also can line it up normally i line it up with the edge of the, the of drum the, of the, the edge of the aluminium the, or the outside of the drum line up the belt in there and that's pretty spot on and so so now what we do is we'll just undo the belt again put that back in there put the allen key in there and make sure you keep that allen key nice and steady and then you just give it a bit of a nip up. Just to tighten it off again. Yeah. So of course, if you wanted to track the belt the opposite direction, so if your belt was naturally pushing too far this direction, you'd be doing exactly this, but the opposite and adjusting the, the roller, the top roller down slightly so the belt tracks its way back. And of course, if it tracks too far, again, you gotta adjust it back, but it's all really little incremental uh, adjustments. Just double check there, because I might have done a bit too much, but just, we'll just check. 